Today, we're going to talk about how to create dailies in Final Cut Pro 10 for Frame.io. At this point, you should have already added your script supervisor's notes to your footage with ShotNotes X and batch synced audio and video using Sync and Link X. If you haven't done that already, go back and watch our tutorial on ShotNotes and Sync and Link. Before we do anything inside Final Cut, we're going to need to set up Frame.io. First, head over to their website and sign up. Once you're signed up, click Add Project. This is where we will upload our dailies. We'll title this one Off the Grid Dailies. Next, add anyone who needs to review the dailies as collaborators. Once you've set up your project in Frame.io, it is time to download the Frame.io app from the App Store. You can find it under the Final Cut Pro 10 section of the Quick Links. Once you've navigated to the app, click Get. If necessary, type in your password. Once the app has downloaded, open it and sign into your Frame.io account. This window allows us to drag and drop clips for direct upload to Frame.io. However, we want to upload from Final Cut. To do that, we need to go to Help, Install Extensions. This will add a share destination that we can use to export clips and entire projects from Final Cut to Frame.io. Now that the extensions are installed, it's time to make our dailies. You'll see that Sync and Link gave us synchronized clips for each of the angles within the multicam clips, so we'll just go ahead and clear those out. We'll select each of these and hit Reject. We'll create a new project. Let's name it Scene 18 Dailies. We'll zero out the time code. Set the resolution to 4K, and we'll use the UHD 4K setting. And the color space we'll set to Rec 2020. OK. Make sure to set the spatial conform for all of your clips from fit to fill. This includes the angles within your multicam, so you'll need to open up your multicams and check the angles there. Next, add all of your clips to the timeline. In the timeline index, search for multicam. Option drag each multicam clip to the right to duplicate it. Right click and set the active video angle from A to B. If you're working with more than two cameras, you will need to duplicate for each angle. Once you've duplicated your multicams, select all of the clips in your timeline. Go to the Effects Browser. Under Basics, double-click the Timecode plugin. This will add a timecode generator to each clip. In the Inspector, you'll see that the timecode base defaults to Source, which is perfect for dailies. Now that your footage is properly set up in the timeline, it is time to export. Click the Share button and select Frame.io H.264. This helps keep the file sizes small without sacrificing much on quality. Hit Next. The Frame.io app pops up. You'll see Timeline and Clips as options. Select Clips. This will export each clip in the timeline as a separate clip in Frame.io. Select your Frame.io project and hit Upload. Final Cut will begin exporting your timeline. Once the export is complete, the Frame.io app will begin uploading your dailies to Frame.io for review.